Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Shark Files, where we explore the fascinating world of sharks and their relatives. Today, let's look at a shark that's close to my heart. I've spent a lot of time with these sharks, as you commonly see them in aquariums, and I was lucky enough to dive with over a hundred of them off the coast of North Carolina last year. Known in different parts of the world as the ragged tooth, the spotted ragged tooth, the grey nurse shark, or simply raggies, today's shark file we look at five reasons why the sand tiger shark is one of the weirdest sharks in our ocean. Found in the waters of Japan, Australia, South Africa, and off the east coast of the United States, the sand tiger is a two to three meter shark with a sharp pointy head and a bulky frame. Males reach maturity at about six to seven years old, while females mature at nine to 10 years old. In the wild, they live around 15 to 17 years, but in human care, they've been known to live up to 30 years. While these large, heavy sharks appear slow, they're actually strong swimmers with a remarkable turn of speed. If disturbed, they can create a sonic boom with a powerful flick of their tail. While you might encounter a solitary sand tiger, they're more commonly found in large groups. These aggregations have been seen to work together to herd bait fish, their food of choice, those small pointy teeth acting like forks to capture the slippery fish. Sand tiger sharks have an interesting approach to reproduction. Multiple paternity can occur, meaning a single litter can have several fathers. Males compete for the attention of a female through aggressive dominance displays. Once alone, males and female sand tigers begin a complex and lengthy courtship involving a fair amount of biting. Eventually, after their successful mating, the male will guard the female from other males, hoping to increase the survival chances of their offspring. Their reproductive rate is actually quite low. Females give birth to a couple of pups every other year. This is down to a phenomenon called interuterine cannibalism. After hatching inside the mother's uterus, the largest pup consumes their smaller siblings and the other eggs until just one pup survives in each uterus. Another remarkable thing about this shark is its ability to hover motionlessly in mid-water. They achieve this enviable neutral buoyancy by swallowing air. They gulp air at the surface and hold it in their stomachs, which helps them float. So what do they do when they want to go down? They let that air out one way or the other. Watch out for bubbles coming out the back end. Sand tiger sharks are listed as critically endangered globally by the IUCN. Like almost all sharks, their populations are impacted by fisheries, which in the case of the sand tiger is exacerbated by their extremely slow rate of reproduction. If you want to know more about how we're working to address the impact of fisheries, please check out our website. And if you're lucky enough to encounter sand tigers or any other sharks on your travels, please record your sightings on Sharklog, our sightings database. Every record helps us to build a better picture of what's going on with sharks in our ocean. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the sand tiger shark. If you enjoyed this video, or indeed want to see more shark files, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.